ITA Sherry Fort is one of the technical education institute which has been imparting training exclusively for the girl trainees in various engineering and non-engineering trades. Founded in year 1964, the institute has been serving the country by providing technically skilled women power to the nation. After the independence, the institute gave an opportunity to all the young women and war widowers to learn and to earn their living, thus placing an important step towards the growth of economy and the country. was established initially at Curzon Road, New Delhi and started imparting training in the trade of cutting and tailoring, dress designing, knitting, food preservation and basic electronics. The foundation stone of the building at Sherry Fort was laid on 17th May 1983 by our former Lieutenant Governor of Delhi, Shri Jagmohan. Thereafter, in the year 1984, the Institute shifted to its own building at August County Mark, Shri Fort. On 29th November 1995, in the presence of our Honorable Minister, Sri Triloki Nath Chitravedi, under the chairmanship of Sri Saheb Singh Verma, and in the presence of Sri Rajendra Gupta, the institute was festooned with the name Jija Bai, the mother of Veer Shivaji, and now known as Jija Bai ITA for Women, Sherry Fort. Having a lush green surroundings, a vibrant atmosphere, a beautiful campus, and ample opportunities for extracurricular activities. The institute provides an opening door to diverse career opportunities. Having its own building, the institute has a large campus of 10,000 square meters and a covered area of 2,300 square meters. The institute has the three buildings, the academic block, the training block and the administrative block. The institute has its own fully functional auditorium, a stuffed library and a well-maintained canteen. Every year, the institute enrolls 600 trainees both in engineering and non-engineering trades and having around 45 supervising and instructional staff along with other miscellaneous staff members. The institute provides training in the courses designed by DGENT as per norms under National Council of Vocational Training. It also imparts training in few courses designed by Board of Technical Education under the State Council of Vocational Training.
trainees have an average passing out result of 87%. The institute is catering the training program mainly in five service sectors. The apparel sector, building and construction sector, electronics and IT sector, office management sector and hospitality sector. On 27th Feb 2009, our MOU was signed between the principal and the director Sheila Form Private Limited to form an institute management committee under the public private partnership scheme. Under the Triple P scheme, DGENT awarded a sum of Rs. 2.5 crores for the upgradation of the government ITIs and accordingly an institute development plan was framed out and various parameters were set up for its execution. Start. The institute has witnessed tremendous growth in the past two years with improvement in infrastructure, modern tools and equipments and training methodology. The introduction of computer and communication skill program has really helped our students. Thanks to the industry partners, the consultants, and especially Admiral Malhotra at Joyce IMC for guiding and supporting us with their mission. With the help of truly indelible mix of intellectual capital under the Triple P mode, the Institute have experienced a speedy functioning of the work in the Institute and riveting a dynamic quality education to the trainees. A special thanks to our IMC chairperson, Ms. Namita Gautam, who has shown her keen interest to provide a grant in aid sponsored by her and by Flo, the Fikki Ladies Organization, to organize a free grooming programs for our trainees in personality development, English speaking and soft skills. is to have good communication skills and the exposure to the industry. Keeping that in mind, we started this program of employability enhancement and communication skills with the support of Wiki Ladies Organization and Sleepwell Foundation who are funding this program. We are very thankful to them because it has made a real difference in the lives of the trainees. does not lag behind in completing with other professional institutions in any fields. Various fashion shows, cultural programs, extracurricular activities and sports have always been a part of our training. The institute has shown a great concern for the environment. Many programs has been organized. Many trees has been planted. Under the project, 
by Ministry of Environment, the institute has been granted a sum of rupees 10,000 annually for the Eco Club. Our staff and trainees are showing their keen interest and striving their best to keep our institute clean and green. Time and again, the institute also conducts small programs for the trainees, including general awareness programs, how to become a good entrepreneur, how to apply loans, and how to set up small shops, business, and boutique exercises. The institute also arranges interactive industrial visits, internship, placement assistance, and also organizes a campus interview for the trip. The students of this institute are the best preferred choice of some of the best known companies, thus winning the coveted jobs and getting the rewarded opportunities in leading companies, thus making the institute a symbol of commitment and success.